Hi everyone, I hope you're doing fine. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, I don't even have my uh, headphones here to listen in to see if you can hear me. So if you could, if I could get a couple of likes on the screen, uh, just to put my mind at rest, that would be much appreciated. Um, because otherwise, I'm not even sure if I'm broadcasting yet. <laughs> So I'm just waiting. Yep, yeah, there's some lights coming in. That's good. Excellent. I hope everyone's well and had a good week and managed to do a bit of practice on Bonnie Galloway. So we'll play through that again a few times over before we move on to anything new. Um, but there's some some quite good stuff for us to start tonight, actually. So it should be um, it should be quite enjoyable if you like learning new things. So. Um, just to start off, let's let's do the usual and um, play through "Wake Me Up" a few times just to warm up the fingers. So I move my camera down a little bit, and the usual applies. If you have any questions, just pop them in an email to uh, info at pipingclub.com, and I'll get them there. Okay, so wake me up, just to start us off, nice and slow, or nice and laid back, I'll say, not slow. One, two. Good stuff. We'll try that again another few times. I just realised I don't actually have my email account open, so I'm just doing that while I speak to you. Okay, wake me up again. Oh, there's a few things here already. Your beloved Jers did well. <laughs> yeah, spot on. They did. Uh, that was a good. Day. Well, that was a stressful night on Thursday after the after the class. <laughs> Douglas, thanks for the message. <laughs> Um, okay, after two again. Um, and to wake me up. One, two. that once more. Again, it's just good to get the fingers going. Yeah, it was a stressful game on Thursday night, um, but I was relieved in the end, so hoping for more of the same this Thursday. After two then, wake me up. One, two... Great, well done. Hope that went fine. So now, um, obviously we did Bonnie Galloway next, and last week we worked on closing up the grace notes a bit and getting it sounded a bit more like the, the tune, getting the melody coming through. So we'll try, um, we'll try it nice and slowly. Um, I wonder if we should just go up and down the scale once with the grace notes. Yeah, let's do that. Good to revise all this stuff just to get us started. So let's start from low G and we'll play grace notes all the way up the scale and all the way back down. So low G to low A. Low A to B. B to C. C to D. D 
D to E. E to F. Big one there. Now it's just a high G. A high A. A high G again. An F again. And now F to E with a grace note. E to D. D to C. C to B. B to low A. And low A to low G. Good stuff. Okay, so we are ready to run through Bonnie Galloway now. And um, we'll try the first two lines together to start off. You know, this lesson's not on Bonnie Galloway, so we're not going to spend too much time on the tune. Um, so remember, we were playing, you know the notes, we were playing just trying to close up the grace notes a little bit to make it sound more like the tune. So start from the invisible low A at the start of Bonnie Galloway and we'll go for the first two lines. Just take breaths whenever you need to, keep your chanter resting on the table and keep your hands nice and relaxed. So from the low A into Bonnie Galloway. Good stuff. Hope that went okay. Uh, remember, don't worry if you're still needing to play your grace notes really big, that's fine. Just do what you need to do just now. The other thing is, even if you're not there with that tune yet, still you know, move on to the next thing with us, the next piece of technique. Um, and then you can still keep working on that in the background. Keep playing it over as much as you can. Wake Me Up and Bonnie Galloway. Right, now on to the second part of Bonnie Galloway. Starting from the high A, so it's lines three and four now. And this is the bit we'll maybe take a little bit slower because uh, it's the bit that most people probably struggle with from the high A. Great. Remember, any questions you have, send them through to um, info at pipingclub.com. Right, before we move on, just to knock you out completely before we start something new, we're going to try that tune one last time, all the way from the start 
uh, all through the four lines of the tune. Okay, so here we go, all the way through Bonnie Gallery. You can tell I like practice, practice, practice. Um, okay. So from the low A, we've got a big grace note to F into the full four lines of the tune. Take a breath whenever you need to, but I'm going uh, every two bars I'm breathing. From the no questions being asked on email, I'm assuming everyone's doing really well, which is brilliant. Um, had the first Chaz session on Saturday, uh, which went really well, great fun, and looking forward to doing the same this week. So thanks again to everyone who donated to that, and just generally to donate to the Piping Club, you can do that on the uh, on the website, and there's a donate button there if you'd like to do that. Thanks for everyone who has. Uh, in the past. Okay, so that's Bonnie Galloway finished. So that's your first proper pipe tune. Keep playing it. You want to try and, I mean, you probably find eventually that you'll have memorised it. You'll just be playing, you'll just be playing it, you know, when you're sitting at your breakfast in the morning on your spoon. Uh, you'll have, you'll be fingering along. So just keep playing as much as you can along with the recordings. And I keep saying I'm going to put one on YouTube. I'll have to do that. I'll have to remember to do that this week. Uh, so you can just keep building it up. We'll keep playing it, you know, we'll play it again in the next session just to keep it going. But we are going to move on to the next sort of piece of technique. So to do that, I need you to um, download the next file. Obviously, because we've come to the, the end of the first little PDF. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't ask you to do that before this session. But what you can do, if you go to the Piping Club website and to the members page, then if you've got your little password to get into the members page um, and you go into the new starts page there then you'll find the PDF um, let me just find exactly so you go members new starts and then you're scrolling down past the the videos and it goes you get to lockdown piping club beginner PDF 2 and you can then click on that there and it'll load up the the second sort of beginner PDF. So I'll give you just a second to do that. I've got it in front of me now, so it, should, it shouldn't take you too long. Um, if you can't get it at all, don't worry about it, because I'm going to talk you through everything we're doing anyway, but that's where it is. So you're going to piperclub.com, members page, put in the password that was sent out to everyone on the members page, um, click on new starts, uh, and then scroll down and you'll find the Lockdown Piping Club PDF 2. And that's what we're going to be working from, from now on. So, I think you'll probably have it out by now. Um, 
and the first page of it you'll see is something called a D throw, also called a throw and D by some people. So a throw and D or a D throw, it's the first piece of uh, ornamentation you're going to play that groups some little notes together. So <clears throat> whereas we've just done grace notes and strikes to this point where it's just one one little uh, one little sort of piece of ornamentation, this groups a few things together. And a D throw sounds like this. Now don't be daunted when I play this full speed. A D throw sounds like this. And that's a D throw from every note in the scale. So there are a couple of different ways to play this, but I teach it only one way, and I always have, um, and that's the way that we're going to do it now. So a D throw, although it sounds like it's really confusing, it's actually only four notes that you really have to think about playing. So no matter what note you're on, if you see a D throw in the music, you're going to go to low G, you're going to go to D, down to C, and back to D. So that's four notes, low G, D, C, D. So whatever note you're on in the scale, again, you're playing low G, D, C, D. So if I'm on low A, for example, to start, and I want to play a low uh, a D throw, Now I really want you to keep it nice and slow at this point. I know I played them really fast at the start to show you how they, how they go, but nice and slow at this point. We'll get, so that D throw is the four notes. G, D, C, D. Okay, and then the same thing, we're gonna to go to B now, and we're gonna play exactly the same movement, B, and then low G, D, C, D. You'll notice that those notes are even. G, D, C, D. The B doesn't count there because that's, that's just the note you're starting out on. Nothing to do with the actual D throw. Same thing from C, so you play a long C and then into the D throw. We're going to miss out D here. We're not going to play anything on the D, so we're skipping straight to E now. And it's a D throw from E, exactly the same thing, down to low G, D, C, D. So from E on the top hand, Do that once more. Now up to F, same thing. You're going all the way down to low G. But that might be a little bit more difficult because there's more fingers having to get all the way down to low G, but you'll get there, just keep them nice and relaxed. Low G, D, C, D. Same thing from every note. High G now, same thing. But again, you're putting all these down, so you might miss a hole now and again. It'll annoy you. It'll sound a bit off. Good stuff. We'll do that once more. Now if you just keep working at them throughout the week, they'll eventually become, but I don't want you to do that just now, because I want that to be a gradual progression, so we've done really slow now, 
If you're not there yet, it's fine. So you would just keep doing them at that speed. And if you're starting to feel like I've got the hang of these four little notes, then you can start to close them up a little bit, but, but just a little bit. So. So D, remember, and we're over to E. Up to F. High G. And high E. Great stuff. <laughs> Lynn says she's late to the class and her jaws are already sore. Sorry if I'm working you too hard just now, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. I'm, uh, I've been playing a lot today as well, so I'm feeling it too, to be perfectly honest. I'm always in a work hard, work, a hard working mood, I should say. Oh, that's good, there's somebody at my door just now, but they're getting ignored. Okay, so, again, we're going from the low A, and we're playing the D throw, and it's these even, low G, D, C, D. Then to the B. to the C, and E now, up to F, high G, Hi. If you're struggling to get down to the low G, just remember, relax the fingers, keep it on the table. I've always wondered what I would do if I was doing one of these live sessions and someone knocked my door. Um, because the door's actually just out there, but I've just completely ignored it. Uh, and no one seems to have said anything <laughs> or uh, chapped the window that was my main concern okay so those d throws are actually quite self-explanatory i would say so while we're not going to push it too far this week we are going to move on to the next page as well which is a g strike on d um and it's another thing that you know revolves around the note d <laughs> Um, and the G strike in D uh, is different to a D throw in that you're going to start in low A just as you did before, but you're going to play a G grace note to D, and you're going to play a strike to D. And you find these quite a lot at the end of tunes, as sort of yeah, sort of ending to a tune that's in D. So we start in low A again, you play a G grace note to D, and you play a strike to D. Like that. It's really important that they're two separate uh, movements. G, G grace note to D, then a strike to D, because you get some people who go and merge them together. You really want to make sure it's two separate notes. Drank a liter already, and my throat is dry. <laughs> I'm getting the technical stuff, but struggling with the Bonnie tune. Don't worry about struggling with the tune, that's normal. Um, but I'm glad you're keeping uh, going with the with the D throws. That was just an email coming from Matthew. Uh, yeah, glad you're keeping going with the, the D throws and everything else. 
again, if you're struggling with the tunes, don't worry about it. It's just practice throughout the week. So play along with the with the videos as much as you can. Um, and we ha like I say, this is only the seventh lesson, and we're already two tunes in, getting ready to start the third one. So you need to just keep going back as much as you need to. So from the low A, now we're on the G strike on D. <laughs> Low A, G grace note to D, strike to D. Now we're on the B, and it's exactly the same movement. B, G grace note to D, strike to D. So these are all things we've done already, we're just merging them together. Then from the C, Now we're going to miss out on D again and we're going to go straight to the E. Then up to F. Then we stop there. We don't go any further than that. So let's try that again and it's the same idea as before with the D throw. You play it nice and slowly to start with and then we just slowly build it up. But don't go from to um, because that's the sort of tempo, you're, the speed you're looking at. I've got a message that I'm starting to hate you now <laughs> with the D throws. <laughs> don't, don't shoot the messenger. So from the low A now into the G strike on D. Nice and slowly. G grace note to D, strike to D. Now from B. Now C. Missing out D and we're going straight up to the E now. And to F. Great stuff, have a little break. So what I didn't say, well I might have said it last week, I haven't said tonight, is when we get to this point that we know the D throws and we know the G strike on D's, you'll see the next page of the of the PDF. We're moving on to Amazing Grace, which is obviously a really famous tune. We're not going to start that tonight because I think between Bonnie Galloway and the D throws and the G strike and D's, we've probably got enough on our plate. Um, I can see as well on the PDF that there's no notes written in underneath. So if you feel really confident in reading music, then that's fine. You can leave it the way it is. And if not, um, because I don't want to spend much time on theory on this, I will distribute a, um, a sheet with the notes of Amazing Grace written in underneath like we did with the other tunes. So don't worry about that, don't let that put you off. Um, so yeah, like, like I say, we're not going to move any further forward, but we might just go another, uh, another once over the D throw and another once over the G strike and D. Now, to, um, to recognise the difference between both of those things, if you look at a D throw, the first note of the movement is is down in the low G. Um, so it goes low G, D, C, D in each movement. And if you look at a G strike on D, the first note of the movement is up high, up above the top line of the stave, up where your G grace note would be. So that tells you that that's a G strike on D because it's a G grace note to D and a strike to D. So what you're playing is actually exactly what's written in front of you in the music, if that makes sense. So a D throw, because you're going down to the low G, it's going down the stave, and the G strike on D, because you're going up to the high G to start it off, is up on the stave. So that's the difference in the music and between the D throw and the G strike on D. Let's go back to the D throws and try them through. So from the low A, um, playing the D throws all the way up the scale nice and slow and it's low G D 
C, D. Okay, from Louis. Good stuff, then it to B. Magic. Now C, exactly the same movement. We're going to miss out D, straight up to the E now. Up to the F. G. And high E. Good stuff. I'd be completely freaking out if it wasn't for the fact I can view the lessons hundreds of times on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, good point. You don't have to wait until the next lesson to recap. You can go back, Sheila, to any uh, any video you need to. <laughs> Just take your time with all of it. That was good though. Now on to the G strike on D. So this is the G grace note to D, strike to D. Now we do it from B. Now we'll do it from C. We're missing out D again and we're up to E. F. Okay, so you now know G grace notes, uh, strikes, D throws, and G strike on Ds. We're finished Wake Me Up, and we're pretty much there with Bonnie Galloway, ready to move on to Amazing Grace next week. To finish off this session, I think tonight we'll play through Bonnie Galloway once more. If you have uh, if you feel like you've, uh, you can, if you feel like you've still got the strength in your cheeks to do that, we'll try the whole tune once more, and then next week, if you get a chance to practice your D throws and your G strike and Ds, then we'll start Amazing Grace, which will be quite enjoyable, I think, because it's so recognisable. Um, so let's get back to the Bonnie Galloway music, and we'll try this one more time. Practice makes perfect. I'll give you two seconds to get to that. You actually won't be far off as well. Once we've learned another one of the grace notes, you'll be able to look at lots of my other videos, uh, tunes, really recognisable tunes as well. I mean, things like Happy Birthday I've put on YouTube, learned, teaching people how to play that. You just need one more grace note to be able to play that. And tunes like Flower of Scotland, I've got nice simple versions of that. So hopefully in a few lessons time, you'll actually be able to play. There's lots of tunes you'll be able to go and learn yourself, which is quite good. So hopefully now you've got Bonnie Gallery in front of you and we'll go for that one more time from the low A that doesn't exist at the start of the tune. And we'll go for it together from the low A.
Good stuff. I think that's enough for everyone. My cheeks are certainly feeling it just now. Uh, thanks very much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, keep practicing that tune. Practice your D throws. Um, again, there's videos for those actually on the channel, the Piping with Craig YouTube channel, also accessible from the members page of pipingclub.com. And there's also uh, a video tutorial for the G Strike and D as well, actually. So if you're really stuck and this, you don't want to wade through the whole 40 minutes of this, then you can head to those little short videos too. Okay, thanks very much, and we'll see you next week.